it is Monday, which means it's time for another video. I just want to say thank you guys for being patient with me. Um, I did take a week off um, due to the holiday last week. Um, but I told you guys I was still going to do the review. Uh, the winner of the poll um, the other week was uh, Schizoid. Um, this is the double feature of um, X-Ray and Schizoid. Um, hence from the thumbnail I that's on this video. Um, I've seen X-Ray. It's been a while since I've seen that. I have not seen Schizoid. Um, pretty good movie. Came out in 1980. It's kind of like um, American Take on the Jallo. Um, you have some pretty well-known people in it. Um, the one thing that fascinated me for some reason was a young Christopher Lloyd. Um, if you're not familiar with Christopher Lloyd, he's known as Doc Brown from um, the Back to the Future movies. Um, it's kind of weird seeing him in, in a movie like this. Uh, but yeah, it's a pretty good movie. Who else is in this? Koskinski, Donna Wilkes, who was in Angels, Jaws 2. Um, she's been in a couple other things that I've seen. Um, you follow this call miss uh, who's receiving threats on the phone and well not on the phone through like these letters and she's part of this like psychiatrist group type thing led by Klaus Kinski's character and slowly one by one the people from that group are getting killed by this person with a black hat and scissors big scissors um, it's basically all that happens. You find out who the killer is at the end of the movie. That's usually how these kinds of movies are. It, it, it's kind of like the standard slasher in a way. Um, it's not like the best thing ever. It's not terrible, but I thought it was pretty well done for the time. Um, and yeah, there's really not much to say. <laughs> It's just literally, I basically gave you the whole gist of the movie. Um, I went to check too if this is streaming anywhere. It definitely isn't. Um, I, not that I saw. Uh, if you want it, I think Vinegar Syndrome released this in 4K, if I'm correct. The same double feature, but Vinegar Syndrome. I think so. Brattle, definitely. No. <laughs> um yeah it's 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 not it's not a terrible movie the the kills really aren't that memorable the, f the thing that I thought was hilarious too in this movie was right in the beginning of the movie um these all these girls are in a hot tub together just talking just having conversation in this hot tub and you the hot tub does come into play later on in the movie there is a death with uh the woman in the hot tub with, what do you know, Paris, the pair of scissors. Um, that's all people are getting killed with are scissors. The killer in this movie, what is his name? Um, I think he's on the back of this. But he's the um, Neil from uh, Nightmare on Elm Street 3, Dream Warrior. <laughs> he's actually, spoiler alert, he is the killer in this film. Um, and... It's funny seeing him because I've I know him from Nightmare on Elm Street three and he's known as like one of the heroes in that movie. So he's playing the villain in this movie. Um, it is, it's a good movie. I I enjoyed it for what it was. Like I said, it's not the best thing ever, but I definitely recommend it for anybody who likes kind of jallos or slasher type movies. This is definitely a movie for you. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Shortly after this review gets posted, I will be putting more movies on a poll. So stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, I will see you guys whenever I do a video next or a short or whenever. See you guys then.